Okay, so now we will create the plant. So before creating the plant, now just here I have to modify this name. So I will take here B A B C S. S is nothing but uh, Statcon. Okay, and I A B C S. Okay. So now just I will go down. <clears throat> First thing which we will need to require that is the uh, PLL we have to use. Okay, so search for three phase PLL. Okay, PLL and this is the three phase PLL from electrical power system. Okay, so just keep it like this. I will click on it and this minimum initial input that is frequency you have to change that is 50 hertz okay and here we have to take the sample time so 1 e power minus 6 okay just click apply and then okay now here we have to take one from block okay and in this form block, we have to take here voltage, okay, voltage A, B, C, okay, means grid side voltage we have to use here in order to create the PLL output that is omega T, okay. One display we can use here for displaying the frequency, okay. like this I can put it okay and here we can take here go to block okay so later we can use this one and rename this one as omega t okay now I will take here abc to dq converter okay this is abc to dq converter So first I will use this one, okay, means uh, grid side voltage will be converted into DQ 0 to, okay. So uh, from this we can take one from block, okay, and connect like this. Now similarly, we have to do two more conversion one for voltage from sorry current from statcom and another current from the load side okay so again take this one and copy and paste here just double click on it and rename is abc load okay so L we have to take here. Now connect it. This one we have to connect here. Again copy paste this one. Okay. And connect it here. Make it change it here to S. Okay. Okay. Means current uh, passing through the or coming from the statcom. Now we have to connect here. Okay, now we will use DMUX in order to separate uh, this DQ. Okay, so double click on it and make it three. Okay, so now take go to. So this is the first go to. I will rename this one as. V D okay then copy and paste rename this one as okay rename this one as VQ okay now copy and paste before that use terminator okay 
to terminate this point. Okay, so in this way only, I will copy all this and paste two time here. Okay. And again, I will paste here. And I will connect at this point. Now, rename this one as this is from lower side. Okay, so I will make it L. But uh, this is I. Okay, current. So, ideal. Okay. Similarly, this one I will make IQL. Okay. And this one I will make uh, ID. Okay. This is from. Okay. I will make it I. DS. Okay. It is from Statcom. And this one I will make. IQS. Okay. So now connect this one. Now all the conversion is over. Okay. So now uh, we will start the controller part. Okay. So at first we have to take one constant block. Okay. So take a constant block and edit it 800 and here sample time instead of infinite we have to write 1 e power minus 6 and the name of this one should be VDC reference okay. Now I will take one from block okay and here i will use vdc okay already we have created this vdc at uh, this point okay you can see this one so now we have to compare this two so we have to take a sum block okay Double click on it and make it plus minus. Keep it always one thing in your mind that reference should be positive always. Okay. Now this error will go through a PID controller. So I will take one PID controller. Okay. Connect it. Double click on it. So first you have to make it PI. Okay. Then discrete. And here you have to make it, it is 5. Here 200. Okay. And initial condition will not require to do anything. Here I will give some limitation. So this limitation will be plus 800 to minus 800. Okay, apply, just click OK. Now, again we have to take one plus, sorry, sum. Okay, so take a sum block, connect it. Okay. Uh, this one we have to take, okay, this one, okay, and compare, okay, add it here, okay, one more, take one more sum block, so just you can copy paste like this, I will click on it, and here you can make it minus, Okay, so this one you take. Okay. Now use one more PI controller. So just copy and paste this one. 
connect it double click on it here make it 25 here 500 and here is the limit so make it 500 to minus 500 okay now take one more sum so this will be the sum okay take one game connect it like this and inside this game you have to use two star phi star f means 50 hertz star okay lcl filter total inductance so that is 300 plus 500 e power minus 6 okay so total 800 e power minus 6 okay so you can understand 300 e power minus 6 plus 500 e power minus 6 so that is becoming 800 e power minus 6 so just click ok now here we have to give this one IQS okay IQS now again one more sum we will require and here we will connect VD okay so this VD will be connected here okay so again same thing uh, just a little difference so i will copy all this and paste here okay now what are the difference will be here so this one will be connected here and here will be I Q S Q S okay I Q S and here will be the PID controller only this one not require okay Then in this case IQS we have taken so here we have to take IDS okay IDS okay this value will be same so this is here it was plus plus but here it will be plus minus okay And this one should be VQ. Okay. And here also it will be plus plus. Now, next thing, we will use one gain. Okay. And this gain actually. Uh, in some books you will find that it is using two but sometimes you can do some normalization in order to bring uh, this controller value that is uh, md and mq within plus minus one okay so little bit of normalization i have done here so that is square root of two i have taken here okay Similarly, I will copy and paste. So it is not working as R P square root we have to take here. Okay. Fine. Now copy and paste it here. Okay. Now we will take 
abc to dq converter sorry dq to abc converter zero to abc converter you can see this one okay but before that we have to max okay this max so double click on it make it three okay and keep it like this connect it here but before that we have to do more one more thing i will come later and here this one we will connect and we will take one constant block here okay so this constant will be connected here make it zero and this sample time one e power minus six okay uh, now here we have to divide this value okay in order to bring within the modulating signal range okay so for that we will use here product okay so here we can connect like this and here also we have to do the same thing no we will bring it here i will connect like this okay now we have this value right so i will copy and paste here and we have to take a limiter okay oh no this one not saturator we can also take okay saturation block okay actually this is the limiting limiting block okay this two will be connected here and we have to divide right so we have to make it like this and uh, here we have to do like this so here small changes we have to do it will be connected like this okay so this signal okay this signal actually this signal we are dividing by v by dc okay v by sorry 2 by vdc okay 2 by vdc that things we are actually doing and this one i have used in order to protect this signal to become zero means division by zero we should not face so to avoid that things this one i am using so highest value i will keep 1 e power 6 and minimum value i will keep here 1 e power minus 6 okay sorry yes yes perfect now we will require this one also okay to okay give here okay properly utilize this one we require this synchronizing coefficient omega t now this is our abc and this one will be compared with uh, some carrier signal okay so we will use one dmux okay so this dmux value i will put it three okay so i want to see this waveform also so i will put one scope here right also i will put one display here 
in order to check the range of the signal because uh, sometimes it would go beyond the reference range of the modulating signal okay so we should have to use this one now i will make one carrier signal using the repeating sequence okay this is my repeating sequence double click on it and make it okay 5 e power minus 5 and 1 e power minus 4 okay and this range of output will become minus 1 then 1 and again minus 1 okay so 10 kilohertz actually i am going to take here okay so for simplicity i can write like this also uh, 1 by 2 okay and here 1 and here one e power minus four okay ten kilohertz apply okay something so I think this one is creating problem so zero point five we have to take it okay here actually inside the vector it is coming that's why so it will not take like this so better to write in this form only 0 5 e power minus 5 and 1 e power minus 4 okay now click now take comparator so that is greater than equal okay so this one i will take here one copy and paste two more times okay so first this one we have to connect and here then all this this one will be connected to all this greater than equal okay now we have we require one note okay so this one copy paste two more times okay and here take one go to block okay so this one i will keep the name like p11 okay then p12 okay then p21 okay p22 this one p22 then Just wait, but it, it is not coming. Why it is not popping? Yes, this is P31. Then P32. Okay, so it will be connected here. And like this, we have to connect. this one okay okay it will be connected here then this one we have to connect here okay
right so six pulses actually we will require okay six pulses we will require in this inverter okay that's why we know that uh, this is an inverter having three leg okay and this legs are uh, leg one leg two leg three so that's why i've used here p11 means leg one okay first switch leg one second switch leg two first switch leg two second switch okay second pulse okay so like this this pulses will go to this inverter okay now i will just bring all this okay and i will take all this go to from blocks to the inverter okay so control x and bring it here paste here okay take one mux okay double click on it make it six and max all these pulses okay max all these pulses so that together all these pulses will go inside the inverter in order to switch the igbt switches Okay, so now I will connect it. Okay, so you can see that almost our work is completed. So little bit space management I will do. Okay, so that I can visualize in one. place right not let me see okay not then okay it can be done so let me go to this will you can bring here not like that here we have to okay reconnect it yes so now i will save the model okay so you can see somehow my model is look like this okay so i will save okay and i will try to run first let me see whether the model is running or not okay yes you can see it is running successfully but we have taken very small time so i will make it one second okay now i will run it now you can see it is running okay and let me check how this signal it is okay this is not good so somewhere there is some mistake okay we have to see that mistake okay so you can see that uh, here is a small mistake we have done so now i have to change this one because this one is nothing but compare 
considered as a reference. So this one we have to do minus. Okay, so double click on it and make it minus. Okay. So little bit zoom I will do and I will show you. Okay, so this one actually in earlier time we have chosen that plus plus. So this is that was not right. Okay, so here we have to do plus minus. Now I will run the simulation and I will show you uh, how the modality uh, signal is getting generated. So you can see here, it is uh, hardly sometimes it is going more than one, but it is to be considered zero to one. So you can see the waveform, okay. Here you can zoom it. Okay, again you have to zoom, then you can see, okay. So it is not, it is, you can see it is the maximum one to below two, okay. Sometimes it is going more than one, but uh, it is okay. It can be compared with the carrier signal, okay. So like this. Uh, now we will use some measurement block in order to and uh, some display block also to see whether this system is uh, providing the uh, reactive power to the grid or not. Okay, so for that we have to use the power measurement block. Okay, so now I will search. Here I will search. Okay. Here I will search, not here, I will search, uh, okay, no problem, I will search here. So, uh, power measurement, okay. Three phase power measurement we will take. Power measurement block that we will take from three phase instantaneous, but it is not coming right now. Okay, so uh, power we can search for instantaneous. Yes, this one we will use. Okay, so one we will use for the grid side. So take from block, okay, connect it, double click on it, and write here B A B C. Okay, similarly copy and paste here and make it I A B C. Okay, make it a little bit bigger. And here, okay, so similarly, copy and paste here. Now before that, I will use some gain. Okay, and I will divide this one by 1000. Okay, one divided by 1000. Okay, so that whatever the value we will get here, that will be in kilowatt. Okay, now copy and paste. Okay, make it this one for load. Okay, this one also for the load. Then it's okay. Paste one more time here. Okay, I have to manage some space. A little bit of space I have to manage. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
now cut and paste here and this one will be for statcom okay so here we have to modify this name okay for statcom and this one is also for statcom okay now what i will do i will use display okay but before that i will use d sorry max okay so that i can visualize the entire thing in one display okay double click on this display and make it blank sorry bank okay connect it here this is only for the reactive power sorry active power okay so here i can write p is g okay or grid p grid this one we can make p l load okay and this one we can make p stat okay similarly same thing i want to do okay so for that one more dmax sorry max i need okay now connect here means only the reactive power this max will okay max so here q grid okay this is q load and this one q stat okay q stat now i will run the simulation but before that i will save and just run the simulation you will be able to see okay so just now it is running i will keep it to run it for one second and i will show you how the model is working Okay, just I will stop, and you can see here. Okay, so this is the load reactive power, right? Okay. okay so for better visualization one more thing i want to do here that is uh, i will put some filter between okay here so take first order filter filter okay, first order filter i will take and i will filter in order to visualize Uh, the active and reactive power okay so just double click on it and here take this one as 50 and sample time 1 e power minus 6 okay compress it make it smaller and correct in this places okay 
So what will happen? It will give very filtered power. Okay. Now I will run this simulation and you will be able to see how this step form is working. Okay, so you can see here that uh, this is the active power, okay, generated from the source and this is the drawn by the load, okay, and this is the reactive power, okay, uh, drawn by the load and this is the reactive power, okay, generated or delivered by the stat form, okay. So now I will use some scope okay, in order to visualize. So here I will make it three. Just three I will make here. Now I will connect all this reactive power in one place. Okay, sorry, active power. All the active power will be visualized in one place and all the reactive power will be visualized in one place. Okay, so now final run I'm giving. And you will be able to see that uh, the statcom is always generating the all the reactive power, whatever is being required by the uh, load. Okay, and no active power is generated by the uh, uh, statcom. Okay, so just watch the simulation will be able to see the waveform. Okay. And here is the reactive power waveform. Okay. Okay, so you can see here, this is the uh, reactive power okay, delivered or absorbed by the source. And this is the reactive power drawn by the load and this is the reactive power supplied by the stat form. Okay. So in this way, you can understand how one stat form works. Okay. Uh, now we will uh, verify uh, the update, verify this stat form means uh, we will check uh, with stat form and without stat form the result. Okay. So for that, what we need to do, uh, we require one breaker, okay, three phase breaker. We will place either here or here we can place. So just I'm going to place one three phase breaker here. So right here, breaker. So three phase breaker will be required here. 
So this one is our fitness breaker. We will place like this. Still, it is not connected. We have to connect it manually. Okay, now double click on it and make it uh, of external control. Okay, take one constant block. Now connect here, double click on it and make here instead of infinite one e power minus six. Okay. Uh, now in this one also we have to sub it, right? This inverter also. So for that uh, we will take one product. Okay. And uh, instead of this one. We will go through this. Here we have to connect it. So what will happen so when it is off? This contactor, this inverter also get turned off. Okay, so that controller will not become stable. Okay. Uh, so now uh, we will simulate it. So I will keep it here. Uh, two second, okay, or uh, three second, and we will try the simulation. So at first, uh, we will keep it zero, okay, not zero uh, with the stat com we will start, okay. So the simulation is uh, going on. For with the stat com and after one minute sorry one second uh, I will change <coughs> it to without a stat com so just wait for some time after one minute sorry one second I will Change the contactor setting. Now it is 0.7 second. So double click here and make it zero. And once it become one, I will click OK. So that instantly it will be applied. Okay, now statcom is disconnected. So without the stat com, so I will go a little bit down so that I can show you. So you can see the stat com generation means uh, delivered reactive power is become zero, and even active power is also zero. Okay. Now at two second again I will okay at one point five second I will I will uh, make it again connected. Okay, at 1.5 second, I again connected the stat from into the uh, grid. So now you can see uh, how stat from is started working. Okay, and after some time, it will become stable.
now i will click on the waveform yes here you can see so this is the reactive power supplied by statcom so here it was with statcom so this time without statcom okay and here we have uh, again connected the statcom so it is taking some time to stabilize the system and after some time so here you can see now again it is reaching the same steady state uh, operation which it was having at this stage so you can see that it is the controller stabilized and now it is reaching the steady state operating point and satisfactorily delivering the wired power to the grid so in this way you can verify how your statcom is working okay so with this uh, i think uh, it is okay and uh, you will be happy you will be watching this complete video and please subscribe my channel like and share among your friends and i also will request you to support my channel by clicking the joining button there you will be able to access some new videos which are not available in youtube okay so try to join my channel and support my channel thank you